YouTube, what's up? John the Tech here from Luxwell Automotive with another sneak peek of some product development. And uh, so, let me give you a quick rundown of what's happening. Uh, so, back when COVID launched, uh, manufacturers closed and it got to the point where we could no longer purchase the needed parts for our Jeep radio, our little 8 inch, 8.4 inch. And so, we had two engineer teams. They decided to find the fix for the problem. First engineer team was part of our IQ kit set and you probably saw my video a couple weeks ago where I showed the uh, the different IQ radios in the Jeep JL uh, so that was one of the engineer team's answer to the needing of a new radio for the Jeep JL the second engineer team was our T style engineer team and they decided to go big or go home so I got our first uh, working system here uh, brought it into the office got it installed into a Jeep and I figured part of my favorite thing to do with this job is getting to share the cool new things so I shot it thought let me shoot a quick YouTube video so I can show you guys what we got so are you ready you ready to see what our T style engineers came up with for the Jeep here you go that is 12.1 inches of generation 4 T style power chilling in the dash of your Jeep JL so quick you can see this uh, this part of the bezel here about this line was the factory climate controls and then you had the factory uh, could be a 5 inch could be a 7 inch or an 8 inch screen uh, went up there what our engineer team decided to do was to make this all one piece and throw in a big old 12.1 inch in there uh, they also changed the UI a little bit it looks very similar to the Gen 4 with the colors but instead of being circles uh, they decided to go a little hexagon look, more of the uh, rough line of the Jeep. Um, but that's that there. Let me give you a different angle of it so you can kind of see uh, from the side. Uh, so this bezel is still a 3D print, so like my clips actually don't clip, so I don't mind the, uh, the missing clips there. Again, this is a sneak peek, guys, sneak peek, meaning it's coming soon, just not quite yet. But I did want to show you uh, how it looks, and also because it's Gen 4, I have an HDMI output which means I can actually uh, show you straight up uh, the screen itself uh, so I want to go ahead and uh, do a little split screen here so I can show you uh, how the output would look uh, kind of give you a better screen so you're not looking at the actual uh, camera looking at the screen but you can actually see the screen so there you go so again simple uh, simple kind of UI but it's got the hexagon uh, this is running our new 4.4 uh, with the over-the-air update software, which also gives you some new um, programmable icons down here at the bottom, as well uh, for those of you who have a T-Style already and you haven't run the 4.4, I'm telling you, you should run the 4.4 because it's pretty nice. Uh, we'll give you an extra row here. Uh, so the Jeep's not too big of a deal, nor is the GM, because you've got the factory, or not the factory, but you've got hard buttons on the side. Those of you with the, the Ford or the Dodge that doesn't have hard buttons, we give you a quick quick access, simple buttons down there at the bottom, uh, which is super nice. Uh, but another thing that's really cool about our T-Styles, of course, is the fact that it is an Android tablet, so it gives you all the access to all these cool apps, apps like Netflix. Uh, so you can put your Netflix account on there, Hulu on there. Um, there's some videos showing how to get Disney Plus on there. Now, just a uh, word of caution, different streaming apps will have different regulations, and so because our tablet is rooted, so that we can use the tablet to talk to the vehicle. Some streaming apps will freak out because they think that you're going to do, um, like, you're going to steal the uh, the video, and so they don't let you uh, run certain apps. But most of the streaming apps will work uh, on our radios. But uh, super cool. Who doesn't like The Office, right? So there you go. got The Office. Uh, Gen 4 will take and give you a full screen. Real quick, again, a lot of people ask why we can't use the whole screen. But it's the same idea as your phone. If you watch a phone or a video on your phone in vertical mode, it's going to letterbox it because it's got to keep the parameters. If we were to try and zoom in, it would either stretch everybody way out or it would zoom into the middle and you'd miss half the show. Uh, but once you're in there, you drag from the top, get your icons back, uh, go home. You can even do a little uh, picture in picture action. So we're split screening with picture and picture uh, another question that we get a lot um, is will your radio work with Apple and I did do a video again showing on that but 
figure I'm in here. Might as well show you. So let me go ahead and grab my iPhone. I'm going to plug my iPhone in. And it's going to launch an app called Z-Link. And there's, uh, there's your Apple phone. Uh, you can do your phone calls, text messages, uh, different music apps, different um, navigation apps. One of the new updates in the CarPlay is that you're able to do this uh, little split screen here, but they'll actually let you decide which app uh, you use for your navigation, which I think is super cool. I don't know why, but I love Google Maps and satellite view. I just think it's, uh, it's just cool to be <laughs> driving around in, uh, in the real world and seeing it on your screen. Um, so that's pretty much how uh, your Apple phone would work. Uh, another cool thing that this new app update gives you, uh, like I said, you can, uh, you can select which apps you want to open from these quick icons, uh, but you can also move them. Uh, so if you want to put them on, on a different page, then they'll go on to a different page. Uh, so if you want to have one bar that has all your favorites, uh, you can make those all your favorites. It'll all be right there. Um, again, uh, your climate controls, they'll all pop up. You're able to access different vehicle programmings, different vehicle settings. Uh, so headlight delays, flashlights, or um, turn signals, mirrors, door locks, all the, the different settings that you are able to uh, change inside your factory radio. Uh, we've got a bunch of a uh, bunch of those options for you as well so um, we're hoping that this thing will be uh, ready to uh, release by january uh, so far this one's worked really well um, oh yeah you know what i didn't tell you this so for those of you who are off-roaders these uh, little hexagon uh, screws here they're not uh, just for looks they actually are what bolt the radio into the dash so if you are an off-roader uh, and you're kind of concerned that maybe something will fall out it will not fall out now it is still a, a glass screen so you obviously want to be a little more careful so you don't break it but uh, it bolts in uh, which is nice uh, so it doesn't fall out uh, but yeah so i'll continue to do a couple more videos as we get some more features uh, as we get some of the stuff knocked down i know they're working on some programs to pull a bunch of data out of the obd for tilt and uh, all you like i'm not a four-wheel drive dude uh, but I know you Jeep guys have all of the information you want to know with pitch and uh, angles and all of that stuff. So they're working on a program that will be able to display all that on the screen. Uh, so when you're out there rock crawling or whatnot, it'll all be there. But um, as those things come out, we will do some more videos. But I did want to give you a sneak peek. Keep your eyes out. Uh, Jeep JL 12-inch screen coming soon. Hope you liked the video. If you haven't subscribed, click subscribe. Go ahead and hit a share. Let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.